Welcome to SAT to Carry online nursing channel. In this video, we will see some of the important questions for AIMS NORSET exam 2024. Here I bring you 10 important questions. So let's go to the first question in this video. Eight hours after a vaginal birth with episiotomy, a nurse is providing care. Most appropriate midwife intervention for episiotomy site care is Option A. Provide perineal care using aseptic technique. Option B. Provide ice packs to the episiotomy site. Option C. Dry the perineal area from back to front. Option D. Inspect the client to both in a tub. The right answer. The right answer is provide perineal care using aseptic technique, which will prevent vaginal infection. Move on to question number two. A client in the second stage of labor had pushed for almost an hour. At this stage, which intervention is best for the client? Option A. Offer clear fluids in between contractions. Option C, encourage ambulation. Sorry, option B is encourage ambulation. Option C, instruct the patient to push with each contraction. Option D, encourage frequent changes in positions. The right answer. The right answer is option B. Encourage ambulation. So, almost the push has been over. So, to facilitate the delivery, after few minutes, the patient can be encouraged to go for ambulation. That will enhance the opening of vagina. The delivery will be facilitated very easily. Question number 3. A client gave birth to an 8 pound kit. Vaginally, just now. Within a few minutes of giving birth, the nurse sees the umbilical cord getting longer and vaginal blood rushing out. The midwife thinks these findings mean Option A, signs of hemorrhage. Option B, signs of placental previa. Option C, signs of placental separation. Option D, signs of retained placental fragment. The right answer. The right answer is option C. It is the sign of placental separation. Option C is right. Now, fourth question. A woman is receiving epidural morphine. For relief of perineal pain after vaginal birth, the midwife closely monitors for which of the following within the first three hours. Option A, nausea. Option B, diarrhea. Option C, increased urine output. Option D, severe itching. The right answer. One of the most important side effect of morphine is the nurse need to monitor severe itching. Option D is the right answer. Which of the following is true about episiotomy? Option A, an episiotomy can improve sexual satisfaction after birth. Option B, an episiotomy will lessen the mother's risk of urinary incontinence later in life. Option C, an episiotomy will enlarge the vaginal opening to facilitate a foster birth. Option D, an episiotomy will head, sorry, an episiotomy will heal better than a tear. So, which is the True statement regarding episiotomy. The right answer is 
and episiotomy will lessen the mother's risk of urinary incontinence in later life move on to question number 6 a multi pregnant client is taken to the operation room for a cesarean which operation room position does the midwife remind the staff nurse to place the client in which position is given for the multi pregnant client who has been taken to operation room for cesarean section option a left side lying position option b semi fowler position option c supine position with a wedge placed under the right hip option c supine position with a wedge placed under the left hip the right answer is option c supine position is provided with a wedge is placed under her right hip that will prevent the compression to the inferior vena cava then seventh question a 21 year old female client comes to the prenatal clinic offer a home pregnancy test indicated a positive result the client informs the midwife that her last menstrual period was on october 28 2010 using a nagel's rule the client's expected date of birth is on option a july 21st 2011 option b july 4th 2011 option c august 21st 2011 and option d august 4th 2011 so by applying the nagel's rule we can estimate the date of delivery which will be august 4th 2011 now we move on to next question a client at 38 weeks gestation comes to the facility after experiencing a leakage of clear fluid from the vagina without contractions premature rupture of membrane is suspected which of the following actions by the midwife would be inappropriate for a client with this condition Option A administer ampicillin intravenous route option B performs digital vaginal examination option C assess the client cervix and vaginal cavity through sterile speculum by means of a vaginal examination option C order ls ratio so here the client have ruptured membrane and have a clear fluid leakage without any contraction that the primary nurses role would be in preventing the infection so the nurse needs to administer ampicillin intravenously now move on to ninth question on assessment the midwife notes that a female newborn has pink patches at the nape of the neck the midwife informs the mother that these patches are caused by an injury during labor option b these patches occur more often in males than in females option c these patches would disappear by school age without treatment option d these patches do not fade so the newborn with pink patches on the nape of the neck will not fade that is the right answer these patches remain and move on to the last question in this video a client is given oxytocin for the induction of labor the midwife should monitor the client for which of the following side effects of oxytocin option a increase urine outflow option b vomiting option c hypertension option d bradycardia the major side effect caused due to morphine will be sorry uh, which is caused due to the oxytocin will be 
option B committing is the right answer. So here we come to the end of this video. We have seen 10 important questions. Again, in another video, we will meet with 10 more questions. So please subscribe to our channel and we will meet soon with another 10 important questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.